In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add Instagram feed to your WordPress website by using Royal Elementor add-ons new Instagram feed widget. It's super easy and straightforward, so let's jump right into it. If you want to follow this tutorial, you just have to install Elementor and Royal Elementor add-ons free plugins. But later in the tutorial, I'll show you some of the additional features that come with Royal Addons Pro version. I'm also using Royal Elementor Kit theme, but any Elementor compatible theme will work just fine. So let me go to my pages where you can see that I've already created an empty page called Instagram feed, but you can call it whatever you want. It is a completely blank page, so let's click on Edit with Elementor. First things first, let me find the widget called Instagram feed and drag and drop it into my canvas. Next, we need to get the access token, which we will paste right here. And to do so, let's go to developers.facebook.com on this URL. And I'm already signed in with my Facebook account, so let's click on my apps. Here we can add new apps, so click on create app. Let's enter app name. You can name it whatever you want. For now, I'm just going to call it test app and click on next. Here we need to choose other and click on next again. In app type, select business and create app. Click on Instagram setup. To generate access token, we need to add Instagram account. So click on add account and continue. You'll have to log in to your Instagram account. Allow access. And finally, click on Generate Token. You'll have to log in to Instagram again. Click on Allow to give access once more. And finally, we have our access token. Just check this box, copy the token, save it somewhere safe and click on Done. We have our token, but we still need to switch our app from development to live. And to do so, click the switch button and go to basic settings. Now, what you need to do here is you need to enter the URL of the privacy policy page of your website. I'm just going to paste some random URL and it will just work. But for the future, it will be better if you enter the actual URL from your website. And finally, click on save changes. Next, let's click on Instagram drop down on the left side and go to API setup with Instagram login. Now, if you click on this switch button, your app will actually go from development to live mode. All right, we have already generated the access token and I hope that you have saved it somewhere. So let me go back to my demo site and paste the access token here. As you can see, the Instagram feed widget is fetching some posts from my Instagram page. Finally, in expiry date, you can enter some random large number, and that's it. Now Instagram feed widget shows the posts from Instagram page. But let me show you some of the settings that you can change when using Instagram widget. First, let's go to layout where you can select the desired layout. As you can see, the default one is the grid but you can choose the slider, for example. And sometimes you might need to update and refresh the page to see the changes. Here we go, it displays posts as a slider. Let's go back to the layout and this time choose the full width. And you can see that it takes the entire width of the section. So let me edit the section itself and set the content width to full width. Now you can see that Instagram widget takes the entire section's width. Let me revert the changes and go back to layout again. Because this time I'd like to try the least style. This is how it looks. In columns you can change the number. Let's go for two columns for example. And you can adjust the media width as well. Let me make it smaller and I think it looks pretty nice. There's also a masonry grid which you can try if you like, but let me go to grid layout and set the columns to 3 again. Right down below you can activate show pagination which displays the load more button, and there's also a show follow button. 
let me go back to integration section because I'd like to change the number of posts displayed by default. So let's set it to three. And finally click on preview changes because pagination does not work inside Elementor editor. But you can see that it works well in preview. Now let's go to follow button settings. And here you can change the link of the button, which obviously will be your Instagram page, where others can follow you and you can change the button text as well. Next, let's go to element section where you can add some additional elements to your Instagram posts. So let's click on add item. And in select item, you can add things like username, icon, like box and few others. So let me choose the username. And now it shows the Instagram username. From here, you can change the horizontal alignment, left, right, or center, or manually change its position. If you click on the item itself, you can set the location, like above media, for example, or maybe you want to display it over the image, just like that. There's also an option to apply the animation like fade in, for example, and it will display the element when someone hovers over the media. Keep in mind that you can apply the alignment and location settings to any other element. In media overlay settings, you can change the overlay width and height. So let me set on 80 instead of 100. And that's how it looks on mouse over. Finally, let's see how Lightbox works. So let's go to elements and in select element, let me choose the light box instead of username. Now it shows the zoom icon on hover. So let's go to preview mode. And if you click on media itself, it will display images as a nice light box with slide animation. You can also add some effects to your images. Right now it is set to none, but let's see how zoom in or zoom out works. Basically, it adds some nice animations to your images on mouse over and there's a plenty to choose from. All right, as promised in this part of the tutorial, I'll show you some of the premium features. I've already installed and activated Royal Addons Pro version, so let's go back to my page. And the first thing I'd like to show you is the number of posts. Because when using free version, you are limited to maximum six posts. But in pro version, you can display as much as you like. Premium version also comes with predefined styles, so you won't have to worry on adjusting settings. You can preview them by clicking here. And when you find the one you like, just click on insert and that's it. Let me edit the Instagram feed again and go to elements, click on add item and choose the sharing, which will add the social media sharing buttons to your Instagram posts. When using premium version, you can also increase the number of slides in your slider. So let me set the layout to slider again. And in pro version, you can set it to more than three. Let's say six, for example. As you can see, it requires the page update and refresh, so let me quickly do it. And now the slider displays the six posts per slide. That's pretty much everything that I wanted to show you in this video. There are more premium features that you can see on Royal Addons official website. If you have any questions, please go to our support forum, and from here you can download the plugin or upgrade to Pro. Please like the video and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.